So I knew I had been initiated by the Lord into our next building season because uh, three and a half years prior, God visited me. Uh, an, angel, an angel visit uh, visited us here uh, during the weekend. You can get that uh, recording. Uh, but I woke up from a dream. I, I usually I wander around during the night. I pray and I spend time with the Lord. You know, I'll sleep an hour and wander an hour and really seek the Lord during that time. And to save my life, I have to, I don't do that in our bedroom. <laughs> because, you know, Pam, I told you the one time I was going through, almost died. I, I, he gave me a word about 20 years ago. I almost died 20 years ago. I would go into anaphylactic shocks. And I went into an anaphylactic shock. It was 1 a.m. one morning. And I mean, the whole bed was shaking. And I was really struggling. And I, I just felt like I, 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 that was it. And so I woke Pam up and I said, honey, I can't get out of this. And I was shaking. And I was, she jumped up in the middle of the bed, screamed. I said, the devil's telling me I, he's going to take me out through this. She jumped up in the middle of the bed, screamed to the top of her lungs, Satan, let me tell you something. You are to get out of my room now. You are not to wake me up again. You have no right to wake me up because God says I am to sleep in peace. Now out in the name of Jesus. All of a sudden, we were both leaving the room. I thought, I'm not sure who she just threw out, me or the devil. But I'll tell you, I never had that again. Never had it again. Never had it again. So I know she has authority over something. Now, now, so we've entered this harvest season, but during that time, uh, I awakened from a dream, and there was an angel, a visible angel standing in our, uh, in the den where I was, where I seek the Lord. And, uh, that angel was staring off into uh, a different vantage point. And uh, I finally said, who are you? And he said, I am the angel of the war over harvest. And because I've traveled the world, why, world many times, and know the world ge at, ge uh, geographically, I was looking at the world, it was as if it was flat, and he would point to an area, and all of a sudden these crystal harvest wheats, wheat stalks, would, uh, heads would arise from that part of the earth. It's going to surprise us where harvest really happens. Uh, Iran has a huge harvest coming. Uh, and so, so he began to give me instruction for the next three and a half years of how to prepare the body of Christ for the harvest season ahead. Now, I believe we have crossed over into that harvest season. You can read about that, and I've got it in Passover Prophets. I think I've got it in Triumph and Kingdom as well. And uh, we have entered a harvest season. And because of that, it becomes very important that we enter in to shift our mind for the new wine skin that's ahead. It's a mind skin for a wine skin. Put your hand right here because your mind's right here. 
Your mind, heart, and spirit are interchangeable in the Word of God. And your brain, now put your other hand on your brain so you're going to have to line up. So, we're going through this process of harvest thinking. Now, now, one of the things the Lord first told me was, you're going to have to develop a heart for harvest. And I'm going to demonstrate this at the end of the service for us. Uh, you're going to have to develop a heart for harvest because that was the only heart I had. And when I sent my son... My son was there to reveal who I am. Now, that's why Yeshua came. He came to reveal Father's heart to us. He came to show us how Father thought he sh and show us how Father acted as well. And uh, with that, uh, he, he was God, but he was God in man to show man how to be. And uh, the access that we had to become what we were always created to be before the foundation of the earth. Look at somebody and say, you've been around a long time. You're just starting to enter in now. He knew you before the foundation of the earth. And uh, then he came, not only what he was doing here, you find he, his whole role with the disciples were to teach them not only about Father so they would believe when he changed the water into wine. That's what he said. I did that so the disciples would believe, and I also did it to uh, reveal the glory of God. And his whole process was to bring them in to a wineskin for harvest and teach them the concept of harvest and to tell them constantly about harvest and to give them parables so they would understand harvest, so they would think harvest. See, the Word of God is written, it is a harvest book. We're, we have a harvest covenant. And from all the way from Genesis, all the way to Revelation, the whole concept of this book is harvest. And if what really happens when we get too churchified is that we lose the vision for harvest. And uh, when we get out of time and get in our culture only and we're not embracing kingdom culture, we lose harvest. Harvest. 